For this video, I'm going to teach you how to import CSV file in ClickUp. So the process is really simple. So the first thing that you need to do is to simply log into your account using credentials. So just head over to ClickUp.com and then just do that. So now once you have logged in, just go into the section right here or into your profile click into your profile it should be situated on the upper right corner of your screen and from the drop down menu select settings once you are in the settings area on the left hand side part of your screen or the left hand part of your screen locate again imports and the export section and then from here or in this page you'll be able to see or notice this two buttons so the first one is to start or it says start export and the second one is to start import so since this video is all about how to import csv file in clickup so select start import and then you'll have all of these options right here so you can import basically anything so you can import any spreadsheet so this is what we are going to use since we are going with a csv file you can also import any document from words google docs and so on you can also use or import data from different tools and third-party apps or websites you can go for asana basecamp confluence notion right and more so let us go with spreadsheet for now so once you have click on it hit this import any spreadsheet button situated on the bottom part so now once you are in here it says right here you can upload any csv tsv xls and so on file with any set of columns as long as as long as it has one record per row so the next step will allow you to match your spreadsheet columns to the right data points and you'll be able to clean up or any remove any corrupted data before finalizing your report so once you're okay with it just hit this upload data from file and before we do this one that as or i'm just going to download the file that i want to import right here in my click up so i have this one in my google docs so what then i'll need to do is to click on this file again and download this into my device so make sure that once you do this one is you'll download the file in a csv format or the comma separated values so i'm just going to do that and once you have successfully downloaded that file into your device so i'm just going to go back again into my click up and then select that file that i have downloaded so let it let it process for a few seconds and now it says right here does the selected row contain column headers so you can go for select another row no header row but for now i'm going with yes so it says right here it also matched to the assignees the task name description content field and also the status and if you're okay with all of this one right here just hit the confirm mapping button in a green color so now once you have done that hit review and if you're okay with this just hit continue and it says are you to submit hit yes so now once you have done that it says right here this is the step two of four you can select the or you can select the workspace where you want to import that file so i'm just going with a sample topic and uh, it says right here do you have any columns separated by delimiters so for example you could have tags separated by commas such as tag one tag two tag three so just please check any columns that have multiple values so if you have that one you can just simply had our get this assignees and also select the, the delimiter that you are using so since i i believe i don't have that so i'm just not going to do that so i'm just going with the next and now once you are okay with this one hit next again and hit complete so now after you have done that it says right here stand by your import is now in progress and they'll send you an email as soon as you import is ready so imports can take a few minutes up to a few hours depending on the size so that's basically it that is all the process that you need to do for it to be able to import a csv file here in click up so just wait for a few seconds so i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button thank you so much for watching and have a great day